Welcome back. I'm Choi Gyeon, and we start off with our top stories. The leaders of South Korea and the five Mekong nations held their first separate meeting yesterday on the sidelines of the ASEAN-Korea Commemorative Summit. They adopted the Mekong-Han River Declaration to help the Mekong nations achieve economic prosperity. The heads of state pose in front of a traditional five-colored lacquerware painting portraying the symbols of longevity. The leaders of the five Mekong nations held their first summit with President Moon Jae-in. The five Mekong nations received more than 20 percent of Korea's official development assistance. The heads of state adopted the Mekong Han River Declaration for establishing partnership for people, prosperity and peace to promote cooperation in the future. They agreed to work together toward economic development and prosperity in the Mekong region, similar to Korea's miracle of the Han River. Korea will cooperate with the Mekong Five by sharing its expertise in the development of rural areas and removing landmines. Korean businesses will also participate in the construction of roads and railways in the Mekong region, whose economic growth rate exceeds 6 percent annually. In doing so, Korea will provide help to the Mekong nations, which have a strong growth potential, while unearthing new growth engines for itself. The leaders of the Mekong Five also reaffirmed their support for peace on the Korean peninsula. Having diplomatic ties with North Korea, the Mekong nations agreed that peace on the Korean peninsula is essential for achieving co-prosperity. <laughs> The leaders of South Korea and the Mekong Five agreed to hold summits on a regular basis, with the next summit slated for next year in Vietnam.